Oh, look. He's going to wrangle his nuts. What is this? <laughs> Hey, look here what I found. What is it? Found you some safety glasses yeah. for the camera guy. <laughs> See? Heck yeah. Brand new, never been touched with human hands, except the guy that put them in the package. Got my safety glasses on. So we just got done cleaning off the bottom of the lid, and I done told you that I'm not really worried about this green paint, because I'm just going to scuff it up and paint it black. So, coffee. Um, first thing you're going to need when you're, we're going to lay out the lid is what we're going to do. And all this stuff is what it's going to take to do it with. This is called our quick start or Kickstarter grill bit package. You can get it on uh, smokerbuildermfg.com now. It's $39. If you look, this is, I like this hole saw better than the fancy one, honestly. It's got that ejector spring. It's got a standard center bit. It's technically in millimeters, but it's the same as the outside is uh, two inches which is exactly what the inside of our stack is. Of course, you know what this is. It's just a jobber drill bit here. You know, we, we drill all our starter holes with this. And this is called a step drill. You've probably heard of it. If you notice right here, it's got numbers inside. So it starts at a, at a quarter, three-eighths, half, five-eighths, three-quarters, seven-eighths. goes all the way up to inch and three-eighths. So if you drill this thing all the way through and it pokes through, you have an inch and three-eighths hole, which is the same size as this. For your air inlets right if you get the quick the kickstarter drill bit package you'll get all of these drill bits in it for 39 bucks go to lowe's and buy this it's almost like 25 30 bucks so um once you get the starter drill bit kit you can also download this free template from our website and we discovered something this template is a free downloadable template on smokerbuildermfg.com you just click on download you're going to put your email address in there so i know you got it and when you download it and you hit print Make sure that when you hit print that it doesn't scale this to fit the page or something like that. This needs to be four inches so that it fits the flange, right? We're gonna use this on the lid so that we can get this center mark straight so that where we put our hinge and our smokestack and our handle is in a straight line. So let me get all this junk off of here and I'll show you how to start. Okay, now this is the only part currently that you need a drill uh, tape measure for of building your own smoker. You need it for one reason. You gotta find the center of this lid because I like my smokestack in the dead middle of the lid. Now it's not a requirement, but I like it in the center because I think it looks cool. So we're just gonna take this here tape measure and I go with the inside of the lid from like inside to inside. You just watch the mark. See how I'm swinging that on that pivot point? Look for the widest spot. It's going to be about 22 and a, what, 3 eighths or so. And then we do half of that, which would be 11 and 3 sixteenths. Ironically, exactly the same as our lids. And I'm going to make another mark. 11 and 3 sixteenths from the edge. Boom. See that? Now I know the middle. So we're just going to stick this on here like this. Find our center hole. And then what we're gonna do is mark these so that I can identify where we're at. Then I've got a uh, T-square here. And we're just gonna only use this for a straight edge. You just take this here and put it across there and line it up with, the cent with that center line on the flange. If I mark the edges of this T-square, I'll know that my smokestack is clocked straight to where it looks straight with my handle and everything. So I'm just gonna make a mark like that and a mark down here like that. Now I know the center of my lid towards each side. We put this on there like that, right? We drill our holes, we bolt it on there. We can put our handle here and we can put the bolt for our blade here. And when we open the lid, the blade will swing open when we open the lid. And then when we close it, it'll stay open. Because if this was like this and we lifted it, it would close every time we open the lid. We don't want that because then we'll forget to open it. So now we're gonna take our quarter inch drill bit here. Let me get my gloves. Now these drill bits, you take the point 
You can go extreme with this and use a center punch and all that, but I just line my point up right in the middle of that dot. Boom, that's all it takes. And I go ahead and poke my center hole. This is why we wear gloves, because we don't want that lid to spin in our hand when we use this dog. That thing has drilled 100 barrels. <laughs> I mean, this is the original one that we ordered when we were testing these bits to see if it was any good. I'm telling you, I like it. It's a good bit. See, we still got our center line here. And our center line on the other side. So we're gonna take the handle here. And what I usually do, you see how this radius fits the edge of the drum. You can put this in here as far in as you want, or as far out as you want. It doesn't matter, as long as the bolt heads don't hit the side of the barrel, you're fine. So I like to keep it in about an inch or so, because I think that radius looks best when it's matched up like that. But the one thing we want to do is get it centered this way so it doesn't look cocked when we put it on there. So what I like to do is take this and measure it and mark the center of this. Just flip it over. Just take your tape measure. It's about six and three eighths typically, six and a quarter, but we're going to say six and three eighths. We're going to make us a mark at three and three sixteenths. Right there. And then I just carry that mark over to the other side, like that. Now it's as easy as just lining that up. And if you really want to make sure, it's not hard. I do this so much I can eyeball it, but if, if you have a hard time with that, just take this here and set it back up on your, set it back up on your marks, and then get your, hand, your handle positioned where you want it. Then all you gotta do is just sight down the side of the ruler, and you can see that black mark we made on the handle. And you're lined up, I mean dead on. And just make us some marks. Done. Well, that metal's a lot thinner than our barrels. <laughs> I mean, it's like thin, thin. Now, we're gonna mark our, our hinge part. And if you noticed on the other video, I worked from the barrel to the lid with this. In this case, I don't really care because we're just showing you the So if you remember from our other video, this thing slides around. That's so that when you open it, you can put it down in there like that and it'll keep it from falling down. If this is pushed forward, see how the radius here is right? It'll work perfect opening. If this is pushed back when you install it, it won't open because this is hitting that bolt. And in the instructions, it says to put this on with this pushed forward. So we're just gonna line it up on here we're gonna hold this hinge to where it's level this way. And then we're gonna look up here and make sure that this, that this radius is even with our barrel and that this is over our mark. And that's how we're gonna orient that hinge. All right, so I pushed that forward and I got my radius here right. Now we're gonna mark the holes on top. And when in doubt, drill two holes out, then put bolts in and then mark the other two holes, but I'm not in doubt. So. There you go. Oh yeah, now we're gonna clean this thing off and we're gonna use a flat disc and clean off the back of the barrel. if you want. That's what's handy about this thing. You can just take it and stick it in there a little bit. Just kind of ream it out like that. Okay. Now for the assembly part of this gig. 